Like every time I'm trying to sell to <laughs> Welcome to another Thunder Thigh Thursday. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat or on Twitter, you probably know that I've been tweeting about being sick a lot and I've been Snapchatting like at the doctors and all kinds of stuff. So I want to explain everything that's going on and that's been going on for like three months now. Hmm, where do I begin? I guess I've always had a small throat. <laughs> know and it's definitely smaller especially because of my tonsils I have really big tonsils like nasty big tonsils and I'll show you those later my tonsils swelled up even bigger than normal and so did my lymph nodes on the side of my neck and I'm just super fed up with getting sick all the time it blows it especially blows because I want to do voiceovers and I've been starting to do some voiceovers, which I will tell you more about that too. So when I have throat problems that like, it's not like I'm just sick, like it's hurting my career too, which totally blows major donkey. So anyways, for the past three months, I've been like on and off having like strep and tonsillitis and all kinds of crap. That's why I've been home in Georgia rather than out like in Vegas or in LA. I've been home for like so long. Like when I was at VidCon, I wasn't like sick then, but my tonsils never deflated basically. They were still like super swollen. So when I talk for long periods of time, it hurts. So the part that really sucks is I've been to like, I don't know, probably like four different doctors and I think I'm still gonna go to another doctor probably sometime this week. I went to the ear, nose, and throat doctor and he gave me antibiotics to like hopefully fix everything and it didn't fix anything. So he wants to take my tonsils out, which I know like it's not some like super crazy major surgery, but it's still like a sucky surgery and it's really sucky because it could affect my voice. But I think if you go back and watch my videos from, I don't know, six months ago or even like four months ago or something, I think my voice did sound kind of different than it does right now with my tonsils being so swollen. The doctor, I don't know, he was explaining it strangely, but he doesn't think the pitch of my voice will change, but he thinks like the, he kept going like this, he was like, but this part will change. And I was like, I don't know what that means. But I do think if you listen to my older videos, I feel like my voice sounds like scratchier now, maybe with my tonsils or like froggier. Or the doctor also said I have a hot potato voice right now, which I don't know what that means. Ugh, I'm so bad at telling stories. <sighs> so I, I like, when he told me at the doctors, he was like, you have to get your tonsils out. I just started crying because <laughs> I'm just very scared, uh, and I, like, I don't know. I just don't know what's gonna happen, so it really sucks. Ugh, I'm just going crazy, because it's, it's already been like three months of just being on and off sick, and I just feel like I'm just missing out on life lately. But I do feel like getting my tonsils out is probably the only option, because I can't just keep getting sick. Let me show you my disgusting tonsils. I'm just warning you. They're really, really freaking gross. This is semi-graphic, so here you go. Uh, uh. I'm sorry you had to see that. I really shouldn't probably show people that because that's disgusting. And they didn't always look like that. Like my tonsils were always big, but it's just the last three months is since like when they've been looking like disgusting. Also, I don't know if it's hereditary at all, but my dad, when he was 24, which is how old I am, he got his tonsils out at 24. So that's pretty weird. Ugh, and then also, while I was at the doctor's, I had to like sign all these consent forms for getting my tonsils out. I'll show you, I took a, I took a picture of it while I was there. It says, other possible risks of tonsillectomy, bleeding, dehydration, difficulty swallowing, ear infection, pain, and worst of all, change of voice. I'm just terrified. Also, uh, the surgery isn't for like another month almost because that was the earliest 
appointment that the doctor had available. It sucks because that's just another month of like waiting and suffering and possibly getting sick again. And moral of this story is, is that I'm nervous and I'll keep you guys updated about all this crap with my voice. And hopefully once it's all over, I'll still sound like myself. Maybe I'll just be a little less scratchy, I think. Cause I feel like, like I know your tonsils don't like create your voice. Like that's not where your voice comes from. But if you have these two giant blockages, in your throat, then that obviously affects it. I feel like I've had a harder time doing voice impressions lately with my throat like this, and I haven't been able to get really loud like when I talk. And like I said, when I talk for too long, it hurts. And I can't have these problems as a voice actor. I can't have these problems. Ugh. <laughs> on a positive note, I did record some voiceovers in the past and they're finally out. Like my video I posted on Monday for this web series that I'm doing, which is awesome. And I am in Miss 2059, which is an awesome web series on Go90. You don't see me for the first time until the third episode. So please like download it and go watch it. And it's really funny and awesome. And I'm a cute little teddy bear looking thing. Oh, also I'm probably gonna be posting more Megan Mondays and Th Thunder Thigh Thursdays. So it's, I'm probably gonna have like two videos a week as often as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, love you, bye. Give it a thumbs up because it's really hard to pee when you're wearing a onesie. I love you, okay? Okay, bye.